Five things I've learned from making $5,000 a month with Amazon Associates. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David, website creativepro.com. So I just want to start off the video by just saying that like, I'm not creating this video to brag in any way. I just really want to like inspire you because I know that I personally found it very helpful when I was just starting out, when I was watching other YouTubers, for example, saying like, oh, I made $6,000 in ad revenue from YouTube. It's like, what? <laughs> like, all right, I'm going to keep making videos because I want to get to that point. And that's what I'm creating. I'm not creating it to show off or to brag. Uh, I just want to share some helpful advice about specific things I've learned from actually having success with the Amazon Associates program. So let's get to it. So number one is that it's possible and profitable. And I have to admit that like I was wrong because I have other videos on this channel from well over a year ago where I would always talk about like Amazon Associates as being maybe something that's like a good piece of your income, but not something that you could ever make it into a full-time income. And honestly, like I was completely wrong about that because I've been in Amazon Associates for years, but I've, it's always been like, you know, an $800 income source or like 1,200, it's always been something like that. But in like recent times within this last year, my income from Amazon Associates has actually increased to basically be a full time income, which just blows me away. Like I can't believe that. Like and so that you know that was I was wrong. I was straight up wrong because I didn't know that. And so I just want to say that it's like it's possible to have success and it could be very profitable. Uh, but it just takes a long time. Like it didn't take. This is not an overnight thing. This took me like literally years, years of consistent work, brick by brick, like inch by inch, just blog post after blog post after blog post after blog post after blog post. Blah blah blah. <laughs> it's like just keep going, and then over time you just all you, you keep writing all these random pieces of content. They rank over time. It takes years, but then all of a sudden you you'll go from making like maybe eighty dollars a month, and it's like a hundred dollars, and it just keeps going up incrementally mentally and it's very impressive and surprising so that's number one I just want to mention that it is possible to have success like I know it's it's difficult when you're starting out when you see other people talking about this success and they're having making all this money it's like is it really possible or is this just like unique and it's like no no you can actually have success with it and it can actually be quite profitable because that's something that I was very surprised by again because I thought it was just going to maybe be a nice piece of my income kind of like my YouTube ad revenue currently from this YouTube channel is a good piece of my income, but it's not something I could live off full time. Currently, I'm making like $1,500 to $2,000 a month in ad revenue from this YouTube channel that you're on uh, at the time of this video. And so like that's something that's like I can't live off that full time, but it's like, OK, that really helps move the needle. And so that's why I always thought Amazon Associates was going to be. But again, I was wrong uh, if with the right content audience, et cetera, and the rankings for specific blog posts and YouTube videos, you can definitely turn Amazon Associates into a full time income. Number two is that you don't need any expensive, fancy plugins to have wild success with Amazon Associates and a high conversion rate. So I know that there's a lot of plugins that enable you to do cool things like create like a product comparison table, et cetera. And I think they look great and I think they're very helpful for the end visitor. And I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that I personally don't use any plugin. I literally just use the Amazon Associates tools that the program provides, which is the short link that links to the product and then the image where you can embed the image of the actual product. And that's it. And then I put display ads at the bottom of any blog post where I'm promoting an Amazon Associates related product. And that's it. That's literally all I do. And the reason why I'm able to have such a good conversion rate of like 10 to like 15% typically is because uh, I focus way more on keyword research and getting my content to rank for relevant terms that like, you know, buyers are actually typing in. And then you just get your content in front of people and then you put a relevant offer in front of that audience. So you just, you just have to focus on getting targeted traffic and then putting a relevant offer in front of that target traffic. That's it. Like that's how affiliate marketing works. Everybody makes it out, out to be this big mystery. But you know, like someone who's typing in like something like Bluehost review, like I have a Bluehost review video, like what do you think they're looking for? They're looking like, is Bluehost good, like et cetera. And so obviously like create a blog post on that, create a video on that. It's like, yeah, that's how I make conversions for say Bluehost, <laughs> you know? And like that's how affiliate marketing works. You have to do the work, you have to do the keyword research, you have to provide value, and you have to know how, you have to know how to structure the blog post, and you have to focus on SEO. And that's it. That's all I do. I just focus on really good SEO and then creating really helpful content that people get tremendous value from. Number three is that fluctuations are completely normal. So you may notice that with your Amazon Associates account and your website that your buying traffic may have some type of like seasonality to it. So like that's something that I noticed like back in July and August were really great for me. Like the my Associates account went over to went over six thousand dollars in a single month, which is quite impressive. Things have kind of simmered down a little bit. Now I just bring this up because like I don't want you to get like emotionally attached to any one income source, and you should definitely focus on creating multiple income sources 
So they all, all kind of balance out. Like for example, like last month, this YouTube channel made $1,900 a month. This month, I'm on track to make $1,500 a month. And so that's kind of disappointing a little bit. Like, hey, I'm making more videos. Why is my ad revenue going down? Like it doesn't make, like whatever. That's how it is. And so that's why you don't want to get too emotionally attached to any one income source where you're relying on any one thing too much. And so it's like you want to have multiple things. Like I have YouTube ad revenue. I have affiliate marketing ad revenue. I have Amazon Associates. I have my own products and courses. I have Skillshare. Like I have multiple things coming in. And so that helps like balance everything out where I can like stay emotionally stable and focused on my work instead of just relying like 90% on Amazon Associates or YouTube ad revenue. And then when things eventually go down, being like, oh no, what do I do? Number four is focus on value. Now I know, I know that's so cliche, <laughs> like focus on value. Everybody says that live your heart centered life and just focus on providing value. <laughs> but what I mean is like uh, your website and whatever topic you're, you're creating content on, you should have some innate understanding in order to create really helpful uh, content and blog posts that can actually make money from the Amazon Associates program. Like I don't create lazy 300 word blog posts where I'm like, oh, this is the greatest camera ever. You know, like I have a blog post on Website Creator Pro about uh, various vlogging cameras because guess what, guys? I actually vlog with the Sony X3000. It's like my little vlogging camera. And so I've used a bunch of different vlogging cameras. I've used the X3000. I've used GoPro. Uh, I've used the Osmo Pocket. I've used a bunch of different things. So I'm actually able to create a real blog post on vlogging and talk about actual cameras things I like and things I don't like about each one. And then that's actually really helpful and that ranks well because I create end up creating like this 2000 something word blog post that's really helpful for the end user. And that's what I mean by like focus on creating value. Don't None of this lazy guy, oh, here's the three best, I don't know, cameras for YouTube. And it's like, no, that's not gonna get any traffic or rankings and it's not going to make any money because the key with Amazon Associates is your SEO and ranking number one, two, three, four, like ranking on the first page of Google for specific buying terms that people are like actually typing in, actually looking for helpful content to help make a purchase decision. That's the kind of content that you wanna make. And you can only do that by providing value. Value is a function of knowing what you're talking about and then doing the work, <laughs> putting in the t time and effort to create an insanely helpful piece of content, video, et cetera. And last is to use Amazon Associates One Link Tools. So once you're logged into Amazon Associates under Tools, you'll see something that says One Link. What this does is it allows you to link your US account with your International Associates account. So for Canada, Spain, Italy, Germany, uh, Japan, uh, all countries, all these countries have their own dedicated Amazon Associates program. Now what One Link does is it allows you to create one link and then that one link automatically redirects uh, your traffic to their relevant store. So like, you know, if you have a uh, you have a website and you're getting someone from like the UK and they click your affiliate link, then they'll be redirected to the UK store. If someone from Canada will be re redirected it to amazon.ca uh, if that makes sense and so by doing this alone uh, I primarily I actually signed up for all of these uh, and I got kicked out of all of them except for Canada and the UK I got kicked out because I wasn't able to actually drive any sales but I was actually able to drive sales for Canada and the UK and now the, the these two associate programs in addition to the US program form 20% of my income Canada and UK is 20% and just because I took the time to set up one link, it's a pain in the butt because you gotta go through the application process individually for each of these associate programs. You gotta go through the same process of like making like qualified sales, then they review your you review your account, etc. But once you get everything set up, you are good to go. And one link is incredibly valuable, and I highly recommend it if you're going to be an Amazon associate. All right, everybody, that is it for this video on five things I learned from making $5,000 a month with Amazon Associates. If you enjoy these types of videos, consider subscribing and hit that like button because uh, it really does help the channel grow uh, ever so slowly. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and bye-bye.